Welcome back to the show. Now, a global community of females looking to expand their friendship circles have taken over the world with 22,000 women in over 40 cities. It's called Girl Crew, and we checked them out here in Cork. I'm originally from Cork, but I moved back recently from living in Dublin for a couple of years, along with a very good friend of mine. And when we moved back to Cork, we realised that there were there weren't a lot of things, there weren't as many things to do in Cork during the week as there are as there is in Dublin. And uh, my very good friend Eva Whitford came up with the idea of starting a book club. And she had seen this Facebook group online called Girl Crew Cork. We had the first meeting in September, and since then it's just taken off. Um, every week we have new members coming and going. I was travelling kind of last year. So when I came up to Cork um, in September, I was kind of just looking to see what was around in Cork, kind of different events, um, meeting new people, you know, lots of your friends are kind of married and have children, you know, and they're not around as much, you know, and obviously the year I was away, um, lots of things kind of changed and people moved on in Cork. So I came across um, Girl Crew then on Facebook, and um, I suppose since then I've kind of set up um, a walking group. I work in an all-male office and um, I wouldn't have a, a, a circle of friends really that I would see on an ongoing basis so I needed to do something to sort that out. So tonight is my first night um, at a Coral Crew event. Um, I had been looking at joining a book club and when I saw the notice up, um, I think Friday or Saturday, then I decided, well, it seemed to work for me. I'm only just getting to know the girls. Hopefully over the next number of months, I'll get to know them better, they'll get to know me. The young woman who brought all those women together, she's the founder of Girl Crew. Her name is Elva Carey and she's with us. You're very Hello. welcome. Hi, thank you. you very much. Thanks for having me on. It's such an amazing achievement that probably started with a very basic idea because you were at home and you just said, you know what, I'd like to go out. I have no one to go out with. Yep, yep, that was the case. And I was at home with my sister and her boyfriend. Um, I think my other friend who I lived with was working that night. Um, so yeah, I put a call out on Tinder, I changed my gender setting to male. Why did you um, change your gender <laughs> setting to male Yeah, now? so that I'd show up to way more girls who were close to me, because okay. I figured then I'd show up to straight girls. Um, it's not only for straight girls now, any, any females are welcome to join. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that was the initial thing, was I didn't want to be in an awkward situation. So I uh, made a pink text profile picture that said I'm female, I'm straight, I just really want to go out dancing. Um, probably a bit disillusioned with online dating as well. So I was like, maybe we yeah. can meet men out in real life instead. Um, so genuinely thought that maybe three or four girls might be into the idea and they might want to go do something. Just hang out, yeah. And just mm. hang out. And then, yeah, it was a hundred matches by the next day, so I was just blown away. It's, it's amazing. It's like when people come on this show, we chat about stuff, and there's so many people at home going, oh, my God, I'm exactly the same way. So I'd imagine there was the same thing when you put this post up. Come down, will I be here alone? No, I won't. Hundreds are going to come. Yeah, yeah, it was really that. It was everybody was saying, I'm in totally the same boat. So it was all due to friends had gotten married, had kids, moved abroad, mm. working loads and focusing on their careers, all these. But it was the same reasons over and over again that just friends had either less free time or they weren't around at all anymore. Mm. Um, so, yeah, so we all just got together in one big gap. I find it amazing because you're the first person who is talking about something that you actually are using social media to see real people instead of just being <laughs> online, yeah. you know, really, because it's, it's been the opposite. So it's almost like social media was in a way turning against you because it was all online, but nothing in reality. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I had hundreds of friends on Facebook like before I did yeah. that. But there was people who, I don't know, I didn't feel like I could ask them directly, hey, do you want to come out? Because maybe I hadn't seen them in yeah. a year or something. Um, so yeah, used it that way. But I've always kind of thought that online should have an offline. It of should translate it into offline like, yeah. stuff yeah, because that's, that's because what means the most stuff. It's the, most the to virtual us. world and it's the real world. We all live in the real yeah. world. Yeah. We yeah. don't live in the virtual world, but yeah. most of the time we don't. And I think anyway. that's where your memories come from. You know, like experiences that mean a lot to you. I think those are generally really life experiences mm. rather totally. than oh that day I read that article online I don't yeah. think it's yeah. what you remember at the end of the day. <laughs> 23,000 now of the community yeah. of course. Now how did you end up meeting Mark Zuckerberg? How did this come along? Yeah that was gas. Um, well myself and Anya and Pamela they're my co-founders yeah. have been growing the group I guess for the last year and we've set up in different cities and everything um, but Facebook got in touch because they wanted to feature stories of friendship for their uh, for their of anniversary, they were calling right, it Friends yeah. Day. So they made a little video about us um, and then they flew us over to meet the other people they'd made stories about over the last year or so. Um, and yeah, I got to meet Mark Zuckerberg and Sheryl Sandberg and Chris Cox. Um, How was that? Oh, it was 
amazing and like that was only last week we were just there for four days so I kind of feel like it didn't even happen like that mm. it was just a dream um what was he all... like I'm, I'm really nosy about yeah. him and also Cheryl Sandberg she, she's some woman yeah she's amazing um and she told us her own story about going out dancing that was amazing as well and just this really important special moment of it in her life um but yeah he was really he walked into the room um started chatting to a new dad who has a baby there about the same age as um, yes, baby, Mark Zuckerberg's yeah. new baby. See, this is all the real world again, yeah. real world stuff. And they just started chatting about nappy changing methods, the two <laughs> of them together, straight away. Um, and then, yeah, he seemed really happy. Normal. Genuine, yeah. Normal, like, you I know, gave a billion stuff euro away to somebody there a couple of months ago. That, yeah. That, that type of normal. Yeah. But you know like, what you think of Mark Zuckerberg? He started very like you. I mean, mm. Facebook started from a very simple idea just like you. I mean, where do you think you're going to end up with this? Yeah, um, well, we have a much smaller audience, I think, than, because it's all women and it's kind of the it's ages growing, of 25 though. to 40. Yeah, it's growing. Uh, mm. We'll see where it goes. I mean, you can do have, you have but, Do you have rules? Um, yeah, I call them guidelines because okay. I think rules make it sound like you're in school or yeah. strict or something. Um, so the biggest, most important one is just respect for the diversity. Mm -hmm. So that's because everyone will have different opinions, different interests, different backgrounds, different beliefs. So it's just that you respect um, anyone. You don't have to be best friends with everyone in the group. You mm -hmm. just have to respect them. Yeah. Um, that's the main one. And then there's like, uh, we have like a no naming and shaming rule. Because I guess we all, when it was that's a good at one, the actually, start, yeah. it was yeah. all single girls who were all on online dating sites. So we said like, yeah, we'll just rule that out. Nobody's ratting out any guy for standing them up or whatever else. And we'll just keep that yeah. out of the page. Yeah, yeah, well, you don't want it to become a kind of a, an online bitching site. Yeah. Um, like, yeah. to be honest, because we, we talk all the time here mm -hmm. about Twitter and even, you know, the shaming, fat shaming, skinny yeah. shaming, different things like that. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like a very kind of a grown up approach to, you know, women getting together and, you know, basically supporting each other. And mm -hmm. are you, yeah. do you go on kind of trips or is that planning or is that in, yeah. the, in the future or what do you, what do you uh, have that? Yeah, there's definitely trips because there's a travel group separately. So there's all the different city locations, but there's a travel group as well. Um, so yeah, people are planning. There's girls from all over the world planning a trip to Barcelona. They've gone to Copenhagen. I think there was girls from Edinburgh, Brussels and Dublin, all in Brussels for Christmas markets together. Like, and a lot of them, it'll be the first time they've met I'm even. I'm feeling left out. Yeah. You as, gotta start as, to as voice one guy. Would, yeah, would something like this work for men? Yeah, we tried setting we have up men's a group sheds, for men. sheds right all around it's Ireland. Different. Yeah, and they're, I think they're a great they're idea though. They're unbelievable, but do you so think something good. like this would work for men? We tried setting up like basically exactly the same concept, just for men, Facebook group, whatever. Um, loads of men joined and were interested, barely ever used it. There were a few guys who were brave enough to kind of come out um, and meet up with each other. Um, but we set up a mixed gender group. Yeah. So girls can bring their boyfriends or their partners or whatever, mm. or their friends. Um, and guys, like loads of single guys have joined that as well. And it seems to, they're more comfortable, I think, okay. in a mixed situation. Ben, so we'll see how that goes, if we can roll it out to other cities well, good as well. Woman. And well we go to Barcelona, you? no? I can't, go, I can't go to Barcelona. You just want to be the mascot. Barcelona, just maybe not with the, the same group. You just want to be the mascot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, Elva. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much.